That's a little loud. Hey guys, it is Enigma here. And before I want to get this started and build the chalice up, which I might as well just go ahead and do. I want to tell you guys that I'm doing this part over again and it's really too bad, you know. Guess we should listen to them first. Yeah, too bad. Lord Harkin's Wait, what? That's not what we agreed. We take it back together. Idiot. You didn't really think I'd let you I don't know if you guys can hear them really well. Hold on one second too. I want to make sure that I turn the brightness up. Let's turn it up to right. Let's turn it all the way up, matter of fact. Once you both get Well, that's just fine. Orthyoff told me to finish off anyone who got in the way. Never Never should have come. <coughs> all right, so the fight has started. You pretty much got the gist of what's going on. What I want to say is that I am doing this part over again because if some of you guys may have realized in my first Dawn Guard DLC episode, I said that I didn't do it on my original account first because I was having problems with my HD PVR and when I went through this part I had the same exact problems. and. I couldn't really I mean I have this I have the um, sound of it but like I kept saying I did like an hour-long session well this one wasn't even an hour it was maybe maybe 50 minutes and a lot of my recording is just gone from there hold on I hate this shit a lot of my um video was just gone it's not there because my HD PVR recorded like a portion of it and then it just start recording another portion of it then it started recording again and you know etc so on whatever you want to say so I have to start this thing all over again well the, at least this part so Excuse the um lack of Skyrim videos that I've been putting out. I've just been trying to kind of space my time out with between fixing this and um or either sending it in and getting a replacement because I really if I had to buy it straight out right now, that's not gonna happen right now. I have other things in life that I need to take care of and uh, HD PVR and YouTube is not first priority so I'm sorry guys that I've been going slow hopefully this is working right now and everything you know is just going the way it should go hold on I need to take this key from her but I'm not sure how far I went. I don't think I went that much further. Looks like a glass replica without that shining on it. Hmm. Yes, the blood boils. I should have let my um stamina heal up a little bit, but I don't think I really need it right now. I need to go feed on something before because I forgot to do it last time and I paid the price for it a little bit. And oh my god, I got into a dragon fight on my last video and um the way they put in like the new kill cam type thing. It looks so fucking cool. I got a shot. Like, I got a shot across a river into a dragon's eye. And I don't know if I still have the footage or if it skipped it. But that shit was cool. I was just... I was flipping out a little bit. <laughs> I have to admit, I was flipping out. I'm gonna see if I still... Hold on. Up oh, In a phone call. 
All right, let's get back to this. So now it seems that after I've done that, I can recruit dogs. Not yet, yet. Not yet, yet. Not yet. I gotta talk to this guy, and that I little situation is turned. pretty. Lord Harkon will be pleased. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume. Lord Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. See that last situation is pretty interesting within the Vampire Kingdom. Well, so listen to this. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Bengalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne, but cannot make overt moves against him. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our Lord, you have increased his power over them and at the same time deprive them of their little pets. Yes, sir. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart and be careful who you trust. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. All right, time to talk to. Oh, yeah. I did this last time to have a little bit of fun. I leave politics to others. I see those. Right. Right, so. Let's talk to you. Oh, here you go. <laughs> oh, man. This is so fun. This is so fun. Just when they bite him, press A. <laughs> uh, I had so much fun with this. I don't know why, but I just do. I'm a loyal servant of the Lord of the Castle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know why that is so fun, but it is. So let's go talk to Lord Harkin. Harkin, Harkin. Let me take my little seat right here. Ah, you are here. Good. Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind would serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. As you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. And until of we course. an enemy, we've had no way to fight. For centuries, I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Come That's now, cool. and hear my proclamation. I will, my master. Uh, let me get out of this table. I mean, this seat. <laughs> Pay for me. Sire I am your right hand man. Hear my words. The prophesied. <laughs> they still eating like it ain't nothing. Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself. And forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Now that I have reclaimed one of my Elder Scrolls, we must find a moth priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim to lure a moth priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth. And search the land for rumors of a moth priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now and carry out this task. 
This is my command. Alright, it looks like we have a new job to do. going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I think to go for any kind of magic. Hell yeah. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Alright, we're... What do you know about the scrolls? Where's the vampire? Where's the vampire? That's... a long story. I'm trying to pick this because I want I to pick something that I didn't kind of pick last time. Back. To the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Dracula, no. The first vampire came from Molid Ball. She was not a willing subject, but she was still the first. Molid Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. Hmm. Nobody's ever asked me that before. I... I don't know. I think mostly I hate what it's done to my family. Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy. Why are you just eavesdropping over there? Go ahead and walk. We're having a conversation. underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. A cure? Why even think of it that way? I can't think of any reason I'd want to lose this gift. Especially after what I did to get it. Well, what do you do to get my it? Family apart, but I'm still here. And I'm alive. I won't give this up. Oh, I'm man. about the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. Whatever. Oh, time to recruit you. Bark. No sound made, just a bark. Bark. Alright, let's go. Alright. Uh, I forget where we're off to, but hold on. Let me save it right here. Just in case something done with my PVR happens.